you very much indeed. Um, tonight's first guest is one of those curious beasts, the golden boy who nevertheless keeps getting himself into trouble. Alongside a lively career with Granada TV, he's found time to open and close Manchester's Hacienda Club and establish Factory Records, home of New Order and the Happy Mondays. But now he's landed right in it as presenter of Remote Control. Please join me in saying yo Tony to Anthony H. Wilson. <laughs> You're looking ever so smart. We resolved not to talk about clothes, didn't we? Uh, yeah, and I'm pleased to see you stayed with us despite sitting through the dress rehearsal we did earlier. That it was, was a great uh, dress rehearsal. I was desperately impressed. Now, it used to be Tony Wilson, now it's, and then it was Anthony Wilson, now Anthony H. Wilson. Yeah, sure. What does the H stand for? The H stands for upsetting people. The, the change from Tony to Anthony caused sufficient um, annoyance that then take it one stage further. It's actually my middle name, Howard. It's Howard? Yes. It's, it's not Helium or something like that? No, no, no. It's certainly not handsome anyway. Now, the, the, the Hacienda, the nightclub, I know you don't want to dwell on this particularly, but I mean, I've never been to it. It's meant to be a terrific place. It's like the, the top nightclub in Manchester, I believe. And you've now top closed it down. Top nightclub in Europe, actually. Oh, is it really? Yes. Blimey. <laughs> but you closed it down, so why have you closed down the top nightclub in Europe, Tony? Uh, Anthony. We, Anthony H. We closed it down because uh, it's a pretty tough city at the moment in some ways, and um, we decided to take industrial action. We went on strike. We removed the club to try and say to everybody, cool out. Well, well things or were getting chill out, chill out. I think. So what was actually getting out handy? Just I'd rather not say. Guns, Jonathan, guns. No, just a very... People being, people being too tough and uh, it was just getting out of control. And, and will you reopen it when things either calm down or you I get hope, used to dealing with... I hope, I dream, I believe that we will, but we might not. Let's talk about That's a non-committal answer. That's a very, it's a very dull answer as well, Tony, which, dull, I'm gonna, listen, which I'm going to move on. Absolutely. Let's talk about your TV career a bit, because I was surprised, because you're now doing remote control, which we'll talk about in a second. But you started off, I think, in current affairs, is that right? I started off at ITN. I'm an ITN boy. I started off uh, with ITN. I'm, a, I'm meant to be a, a straight journalist, but I got bent along the way somewhere. Strange things happened. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'll have, can I have a drink? Yeah, have a drink. Calm down. Yeah, so go on. Believe it or not, this is better than the dress rehearsal we had earlier. Um, <laughs> So you're now doing remote control. It does seem strange to me. I mean, don't you have? I mean, why are you in TV? Is it just to sort of be on the screen, or, or I'm in TV for the same reason that you are. And why is that? You get paid, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that's not the only reason. I mean, I genuinely well, like a, doing this job. Well, you get paid, and B, you're in love with. Where's the red light? You're in love with the red light. Just being on. Yeah, you are. I am. It's I'm a on, disease. No, I'm on TV because I like to bring a smile to a small child's face. <laughs> that is the only reason. <laughs> it is. And I suspect somewhere back there when you walked past, you felt the same way, and now you've given it all up. Just I give it all up. I do it because I work for Granada, I'm employed by them, and I love being employed by Granada, and um, I love the red light, just like you do. What about, what about the music side of your life, then? So, Factory Records, sure. still going very strong. New Order, I guess, are your biggest band, uh, apart from Happy Mondays. Yeah. Um, if we could get New Order to do their next album, I'd be much happier. They seem to be um, somnolent at the moment. They're waiting for Barney to finish his electronic album. And uh, it's a lot of fun working with the Mondays, yeah. Do you get the feeling that if you were to give up some of the areas of your life and just concentrate on one, like either the nightclub or the TV or the, or the record side, that it would be, you'd be better in that field, that you would be sort of... No. There'd be an absence of irony. It's very, fun. It's, it's, it's very ironic having the different roles. I mean, basically the two roles in my life, in one role, I'm the guy with the checkbook and the bastard and the guy who shouts at people, and the other, I'm the hired hand and Granada people shout at me. So I like having two separate roles. So, so how involved are you actually with Factory then? You are actually the top dog, you do run it, you, you look at who gets signed? No, I'm just signed the dog really. I'm just the, um, I'm, I'm the CEO. You know what a CEO is? Chief uh, executive. executive officer, yeah, I suppose so. I'm the guy who shouts at people. I don't do much work. Let me, let me run a quote past you. This, this was you in the face, what, sometime last year, the beginning of last year? Uh, when the sort of Manchester, Manchester thing first broke and the Stone yeah. Roses were right up there and the Happy Mondays, the two biggest bands, I guess, that came out of that scene and still are. And, and the quote was something like, um, you were talking about the drug use, or possible drug use of these bands. Um, alleged drug use, I think, is the phrase I'm groping for, so I don't get sued. And uh, you said that, uh, and, and the interviewer had said, well, what would happen if one of these guys died? And, and the I quote was that you to, I was meant to have said that the death of Ian Curtis was the best thing that ever happened to me. Was now, Ian Curtis, George for those who might not know, was, was the, the lead singer of Joy Division and perhaps the greatest pop performer of post-punk in that era. I never said it. It was an absolute lie, and to the date, the magazine that printed it refused ever to give me a copy of the tape which the alleged journalist, who now lives in Paris, said contained this line. They're just a bunch of, um, 
assholes, I think, those people. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, not at all, not at all, no, no, no. Uh, well, so if they are lying, then why don't you sue them? Never sue. Never sue. That's the rule, Jonathan. Have you ever sued anybody? People have said awful things about you. I've said awful things about you. Yeah, but you, they've you always never been... never sued? But the things that people have said have always been true, you see. That's the difference. <laughs> I, I don't go and shows denying them afterwards. Never sue. Never sue. It's the rule. Particularly if you're in journalism. Never sue anybody. So well, let's talk about Manchester generally then. Is it still supposedly the most exciting city to be in? Is it still all happening up there? It's quietened a little bit. It's quietened a little bit. Everyone, it's, the, the rave scene has moved on. I mean, pop music, we're getting philosophical now, I know this is a bit early in the evening, <laughs> but pop music has periods where either the live event is the main experience and the record is a souvenir, or where the record is the main event and going to see Michael Jackson from two miles away at Round Hay Park is a souvenir. We're now moving from the period when the live experience, raving in a warehouse, was the centre of it, to where the actual record and the music is happening. But the records that come out of Manchester still seem to me to be the dominant ones, you know. And it's now the time that we are the tentacles of this pop music movement spread throughout the world. Well, I look forward to actually getting up to the Hacienda when it reopens. Will I have a sort of free ticket? I'd love, love you to come. Love you. And you'll show me Saturday how to Saturday night will be the gay night. I don't know if you like. Do you like gay nights? <laughs> I like any night. I'm always happy. Good. Uh, good. It's always a pleasure seeing you. Thanks for coming on. It's been a real Anthony pleasure. Anthony H. Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Jason.